So I was recently sent a big old box from the Vaporwave record label, My Pet Flamingo, a collective based out of the UK that has put out some gorgeous Vaporwave classics and hidden gems since their first releases all the way back in 2018. Doing unboxing videos on this channel are some of my favorite videos to make, especially when today's unboxing is going to include a true vinyl holy grail of mine that I have always wanted to see get pressed to record which it finally has and is here in amazing fashion, one of my favorite Vaporwave albums of all time. So if you're a vinyl collector or just someone who appreciates great music on unique looking vinyl editions, definitely stick around for everything we got. There's some beautiful stuff in here and of course we are going to be exploring all of it. I hope you're having a great start to the new year so far and as always, thank you so much for stopping by today. Let's dive right in. Before we even get into vinyl, the first thing upon opening the box is a couple of cassettes. Lola Disco's Girl Talk, a new disco future funk classic from 2017, and Winter Quilt's all new Monster Island and the Satan of Fire, a metal project originally recorded and composed back in 2007. Two completely different vibes on two completely different cassettes. Girl Talk comes through on a limited edition pink cassette while Winter Quilt's dropped perfectly for Halloween time on this limited edition pumpkin orange cassette. Both of these were sold at 50 copies only, with the Lola Disco one being completely out of stock. And right next to the cassettes, this is really, really cool. I've never seen a label drop their own soccer jerseys before. A My Pet Flamingo Nobody Here soccer jersey. For those who don't know, a documentary titled Nobody Here has been in the works for a while now that will showcase the birth and progression of the vaporwave scene. And it's cool to see the film get some unique merch and apparel and not just a logo pasted on top of a basic tee or something. They originally released a vinyl for the film soundtrack a couple of years ago, and this jersey is super high quality. It's an Adidas jersey after all, and it's inspiring me to put the boots back on and get on the pitch again. <laughs> I love the minimal, sleek design. It's fresh, and I really can't wait for that documentary to come out. Like I said earlier, it's been cooking for a while now, but honestly, I hope they take as much time as they need with that thing. I really hope the project comes out special. They're interviewing some really big names as well, and it all looks really cool. So can't wait for that. And now onto the real goods here. Let's take a look at some good old vinyl, and let's start off right away with that holy grail I was referring to before. Finally, Winter Circle has found its way onto vinyl record. This is an absolute forever favorite of mine, and it is so cool to see it come to life here on the Winter Circle Deluxe Edition Club Flamingo Vinyl, a limited edition 300 copy run strictly for members of My Pet Flamingo's Bandcamp fan club, bursting to life as a clear vinyl with a black and pink splatter effect. Originally released as a split project between St. Pepsi and Shopping World JP back in 2013 on the legendary Fortune 500 label, this current version on My Pet Flamingo contains 16 tracks and dropped back in October of 2022. I've always found St. Pepsi's side of the split to contain some of his most recognized work, and I'm not really sure why Shopping World JP's tracks aren't on here, but we do get St. Pepsi's entire original 12 tracks as well as 4 extra bonus tracks towards the end. This fan club exclusive version of Winter Circle contains different artwork than the non-fan club version on clear gold and black half and half vinyl, a repeating pattern of the original Winter Circle artwork with a trackless on top, and Winter Circle Deluxe Edition titled on the front as well. As of the making of this video, there are only 12 of these left at My Pet Flamingo, and I'm not really sure how long that's going to last seeing that this is truly one of the greats. I remember one of my first uploads on the channel talking about Winter Circle and how cool it was to have it on cassette at the time. So it's really cool to see how far the physical game for the vaporwave scene has come at this point. And I mean, there's really so many more classic albums left to press. We really have been spoiled with so many great albums these days on vinyl. So yeah, a big cheers to St. Pepsi and MPF for making this thing happen. And what a start to this unboxing. We got so much more great stuff to go in this, but this thing just made my day so much when I first opened it up. Winter Circle is that perfect luxury inspired classic vapor. And if that is your style and you haven't heard this thing yet, definitely put that on your to-do list like now. Next up, we got Leonard Norling's X-Waves project of peak internet on another Club Flamingo edition vinyl. This early internet inspired album fuses together woozy instrumentals, ambient background recordings, and luscious in your face synth work all to conjure up a dreamy frontier. It aims to, or at least attempts to, 
capture the glory days of the internet. The Bandcamp page stating, when everything was new and unregulated, where you could explore content beyond your wildest dreams. These tracks have a very lively and innocent nature to them. They are so bouncy and fun and hit at all those nostalgia chords in all the right ways. The album also has some great features like Donor Lens and Runners Club 95, perfect fits for an album that contains a song construction style very similar to theirs as well. And this 100 limited edition copy vinyl release is going to be perfect for that spring into summer block of time throughout the year. All the greens that make up the entirety of the packaging just screams overly vivid nature scenery. It's something that can only be generated through the photo retouching of a computer program. And I like to think of the track list on here as the background music that would play in the OG Windows desktop of the green grass and the blue skies. You know what I'm talking about. This next one, I ain't even gonna try and pronounce correctly, so I'm just gonna call it Groot in Belgium. I remember seeing this album pop up all the time on Twitter back when it first dropped, and I never really gave it a listen, so now it's exciting that I am able to, and what is more fitting than this, to have a vinyl that mimics the Belgian flag? Here we have the Club Flamingo edition of the album on a limited edition 100 copy black, yellow, red striped effect vinyl. Furthermore, the packaging contains recycled sleeves to give it a unique texture, all giving it a cool but hip vintage feel. This project from Timeshare94 utilizes Belgian samples, taking in classic Belgian pop and new beat influences, which is interesting to see in a scene that is usually preoccupied with American and Japanese culture references, as the Bandcamp states in detail towards the bottom. It's cool to have an opportunity to dive into someone else's nostalgia from another country, and many of these dancey, lo-fi inspired tunes go super hard without being overly punchy or club-like. The album features artwork from another Vaporwave producer, Vanitas, who is also a Belgian Vaporwave producer, and I really do love me some triple split color effects on vinyl, especially when this one here actually has some direct meaning to the album itself. The Club Flamingo vinyl is still currently available on the site, as well as a couple dozen red and orange edition vinyl as well for non-fan club members. Before we continue this video, I just wanted to give some love to everyone who supports me over at my Patreon page and everyone over at the Club Chennington Discord server. If you want to get access to our patron exclusive Discord server and a bunch of other cool benefits all while helping out the channel, consider stopping by the page and becoming a patron today. We'll leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you all so, so, so much for the support. Next up, another monster classic Vaporwave album, which has finally made its way onto vinyl. Golden Living Room's 2014 gem of Welcome Home on a limited edition cream and mustard half and half vinyl. The mysterious Welcome Home captures the earthy colors of 70s and 80s inspired furniture slowly entering into the future age of technology. There's a mechanical aura to this entire album that shares space with Golden Living Room's effect choices, all bringing you this weird taste of somewhere in between organic and artificial. This is another vinyl I was sent here with a reverse printed sleeve, and it also comes to us as a 200 limited edition copies only run, with a couple of dozen still available at the site. There's also a splatter edition one, which also has just around the same amount of stock left. So if you're looking for some atmospherically comfy, yet alien-like background music to your day-to-day -day activities, pick up Welcome Home. There's still a good amount of copies left for both versions. I know I only have the half and half version here, so it's hard to compare without seeing the other one in real life, but I do think this one just pairs with the album art that much more. Its simplicity and color choices are just perfect, and it's exciting once again to own and archive another Vaporwave classic release on vinyl. So if you love neon colored 80s inspired Miami imagery and a god dang saxophone sunbathing by the pool, Sunsets by Nana Shrine, yeah, that's for you my friend. Here we have Sunsets on a split black and blue vinyl, 14 tracks containing some awesome vocals and silky, silky smooth saxophone recordings. Turning to the back, we get more of those Miami-inspired vaporwave colors of pink and yellow, all laid over some classic vector art. Originally released back in 2017 on Business Casual, Nano Shrine is super talented, and hearing original vocals on top of tracks is always exciting to see on these releases. This album jumps all over the place from start to finish, new wave to synth pop and everything in between, and doesn't let up at any moment. It's energetic and over the top in all the best ways, glitchy at times even with these vocals, all the colors from the artwork by illustrator designer Yoko Honda meshing perfectly with the physical record. Big congrats to Nano on this one. 
Next up, we got a modern day classic, my personal favorite from the Donor Lens catalog, Midnight Store. An amazing combination of talents, features, instrumentals, and anything else you could possibly think of, Summer of 2020 saw Donor Lens release their most ambitious project yet. A concoction of all things vaporwave, synthwave, and just late night grooving. This is actually the second pressing I own of the album now on vinyl, but this one here I can't seem to find any info on the release page for the album. I'm not sure if it's an unreleased variant or if it's just not popping up for me, but this like sun explosion thing is looking wild. The album itself has a toned down club vibe like you just walked out of the club and you're looking for a taxi or an Uber or something and is a perfect combo with Miracle Lounge, their project from a few years back. There was actually a bundle version you could buy on the site with both albums, even a signed vinyl bundle edition as well. But this one here, like I said, I couldn't really find it on the site, so that's pretty sweet. I don't know, something, I feel like something I'm not supposed to own, but whatever, I'll take it. The back art of the vinyl jacket contains this really sweet 3D rendered landscape of a store aisle stocked with drinks and a track list towards the bottom. Another record I'm not really sure is for sale or not since I can't seem to find it on the My Pet Flamingo site is this one, Ursula's Cartridge's Brain Dance. Brain melting break beats on 10 vintage rave inspired tracks, Ursula's Cartridges comes back swinging with an album five years in the making. I love the hazy take on rave inspired tunes and breakbeats. Stuff like this and Equip, for example, I find to be incredibly unique and infectious and soothingly lo-fi at times, all are attaining the immense energy and texture throughout their respective runtimes. Brain Dance comes to us on another awesome transparent splatter vinyl with rave imagery on the inner stickers of the vinyl themselves. The chaotic album art is complemented wonderfully by the back art, colorful graffiti plastered over patterns and paint splatters. The album is also dedicated to Ursula Cartridge's brother, quote, an old school raver and an inspiring person to us all. This album just screams musty late night clubs and people in track suits flooding the outside of the club like smoking cigs. And I just, I find that amazing. Big ups to My Pet Flamingo on providing packaging for these music releases that heavily detail the vibes or themes the artists were attempting to bring forward with their sound. Everything complements each other perfectly and Brain Dance here is a wonderful example of that. And last but definitely not least, we have one of the OG releases on My Pet Flamingo, Synchro Starts Everlasting Love. I remember seeing this pop up on their Bandcamp page when the label was first starting to turn out releases and this limited edition green splatter vinyl might be the best looking vinyl in the bunch here. Just look at this thing, I had to give it the old window test and see what happens when you hold it up against some light. Absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I'm looking at the original Xbox home screen or something. You gotta love it. This is a classic future funk release all the way through, a nice blend of groovy vaporwave ballads with shiny instrumentals and filters all paired with party starting summer filled city pop sample reworks. The vinyl packaging for this one features an artistic rework of the original album artwork and this one even includes a skinny obi strip for some extra design detail. Everlasting Love is also labeled as part of the MPF Artifacts collections, being one of those early MPF releases. A huge shout out to My Pet Flamingo for sending me over this amazing box of goodies, stellar releases that I can add to the Vaporwave vinyl collection I've been building over the years now. It's pretty amazing to see how far the scene has gone with their physical releases, and MPF is one of the best to ever do it. Big love always. Check out this video for some of the weirdest vinyl records I own in my collection, or this video exploring a record label that releases full albums on Game Boy Advance cartridges, and I'll see you over there. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and until next time, much love, your boy, Pad Chennington.